I hate this. Whenever we jail him, I pray, please, God, just keep him there. And then when he escapes, it's, please don't let him do something too awful this time. I hate it. Dad, just once, could you leave your work at the office and relax? I made you some cocoa. Thanks, but tonight I could use something a little stiffer. You know, I found that Catwoman scrapbook you couldn't. It was behind the wardrobe. You really ought to let me work out a filing system for you. Something like we use at the library. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, you've got paste squidging out. Don't get it on your pants. Barbara, I swear, you're fussier than your mother was. That must be Colleen. She's early. We're gonna work out. You'll have to entertain her while I get ready. <laughs> look at this one. First time they met. He was just robbing banks then, you remember? What I remember is you describing his white face and green hair. I was just a kid, scared the hell out of me. I thought you'd be interested. Yeah, well I had some really interesting nightmares. Barbara! I wouldn't worry yet if I were you. It's just a psychological manifestation common among librarians. She thinks she's a coffee table edition. Though I can't say much for this volume's condition. I mean, there's a hole in the jacket. And the spine appears to be damaged. You scum. I'll... <clears throat> Will you? Refreshing to hear. Not by the book. Speaking of which, this one won't be walking off the shelf anytime soon. In fact, the idea of her walking anywhere seems remote. But then, that's always a problem with softbacks. Oh, God, literary discussions can get so dry, can't they? Finish the commission, take him where he needs to be, and please, do be careful. After all, he is topping the bill. It really is a shame you'll miss your father's debut, Miss Gordon. Sadly, our venue wasn't built with the disabled in mind. Why are you... <laughs> 